Hey everybody, the Crassin here. Today we're going to be looking at two new mods. The first is uh, an ENB by Fireman AF. It is called Touch of Natural Tamriel. And the other is a weather mod by, I believe it's Looper. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but it is NAT 2.0, Natural and Atmospheric Tamriel 2.0. Now this weather mod is not uh, an update to the original NAT weather. This is a completely new weather mod. It's based off of that one, but it's completely separate. In fact, it has its own page on the Nexus. And this weather mod, if I'm understanding it right, it was built, is designed to go with, to work with an ENB, whether you're just using the binaries or using the full on ENB. And TNT, is built right now to work with this weather mod that's the only preset will there be other presets i don't know somebody asked fireman af that and i, I don't remember what the response was but uh you know anything's possible so right now what i want to do this is going to be the first of a of two parts two videos uh in this one we're going to be looking at we're going to be looking at some interiors, we're going to be looking around some areas around Fall Creek Hold, and the next one we're going to be looking at areas all around Skyrim. So in this one I want to look at some interiors, and we're going to start in this lovely log cabin. Shameless self-promotion here, but I thought we could uh, take a little look around in here, then we'll take a little look around Fall Creek Hold. We'll head over and check some other interiors, Ember Shard Mine, Bleak Falls Barrow. The usual places I go to, because this gives us a little comparison. We can see what this looked like and looks like and what uh, the others look like. And one thing I can tell right away is, well, I fixed the flickering lights that were in here, that issue that I was having with the old NAT. So, And it, w it wasn't really... A problem I just called it an issue I don't really know why that was happening with uh, with the old NAT but um, anyway we can see everything this this ENB it seems to be um, similar in some ways to NVT well, maybe in a lot of ways I mean they both have natural in the name so I haven't asked Fireman AF in his opinion how this differs from NVT other than this one is seems to be made to go specifically with this new weather mod. Now maybe he'll chime in and let us know in the comments section below. Hint, hint. <laughs> so I just wanted to get a look around the inside of my little house here. So we can compare. And the time is 7.51 in the morning. And this is important because that's going to tell us what kind of lighting we have in this house. So you may look at this and say, well, it's, the lights aren't very warm. Well, the light sources are out at this time of day. They're, they're going out and the fill lights are coming on and they're they're just white lights you can see the front of the bear being illuminated and this is how it's supposed to look in the daytime so this this looks good looks very good this is exactly how i want my house mod to look all right we'll take a quick look upstairs then we're going to head outside we're going to look around uh, the lake a little bit and we'll head down to ember shard we'll check some interiors And if we're lucky, those characters will have respawned at Ember Shard and Bleak Falls Barrow. But I'm not going to beat the crap out of them this time. I'm going to have somebody else do it for me. Because even though this video is about the new ENB and the new weather mod, I've got a Conjuration mod, spell pack mod I've been working on. And we're going to try out some of those and see what kind of damage they can do.
can see the lighting in here looks very, very nice. Very nice. Well, Fireman AF said, uh, he said I would like this one based on my comments from the other videos. He thought I would really like this one. He's not wrong. I like what I'm seeing so far. All right. I spent a lot of time building this custom staircase with dozens and dozens of pieces, but I always take the short way down. What are you going to do, right? Uh-oh. Is that guy hostile? Not at the moment. Well, this wasn't uh, part of the plan. Okay, I guess he's not a hostile, so we'll ignore that one. Now both TNT and NAT are designed to give a very natural look to Tamriel, and I think they're pulling that off extremely well. This is very, very natural looking colors out here. It's not overly saturated, it's not undersaturated. Got some, got some clouds. It's not overcast, but we got a few clouds. See how things look around the lake. I kind of like these somewhat cloudy days or overcast days. It's, um, I, it, it might be the fact that I live in Florida and we have a lot of sunny days and after a while it just kind of hurts and gives you a headache. So when you get the relief of an overcast day, it's kind of nice. <laughs> it may also be, uh, that... As someone who has photography as a hobby, overcast days, cloudy days, those are the best days to get out and take pictures because the clouds help soften and diffuse the lighting very nicely. You can see, you can see here, let's, um, let's wait a couple hours and see how the weather, uh, see how things look. All right, it's about 12.30 now. Yeah, this does achieve the natural look quite well. It looks like the grass here is a little less bright green than it had been in the past. Could be me. Trees look good. Mountains in the distance look pretty good. Let's check out Azura. That looks pretty good. Well, let me uh, grab this stuff. Because, I, as I said, I, I think during the course of this video, we're going to run into some unsavory types. And uh, I'm going to let my friends handle it for me this time. Instead of me slapping them around with my own spells, i got some conjurable characters here to do the dirty work for me. So the brightness levels seem pretty appropriate right now. This is the middle of the day. It's one in the afternoon. Looks like we still got some watercolor. That's nice. 
That's one of the reasons I wanted to keep NAT was because it preserved the watercolor. I mean, it's not a deal breaker if it doesn't, but I'd like to at least for a while. Hmm. Should I? Nah, there'll be plenty of time for that where we're going. It looks like the... I'm going to take a guess here, but I'm going to say the saturation is up a little bit more in the middle of the day. Which I guess makes sense. Looks like there's a touch more green in the grass and the trees than early morning. Go away. Well, that's another thing. I forgot about that. I, I have to be able to preserve the red rocks. They always look a little different in the middle of the day. Usually in the morning and the in the uh, afternoon, sunrise and sunset is when they look really, really nice. But that's a must-have since that's uh, such uh, an amazing mod. All right, our first stop is going to be Helgen. We're going to continue to check exteriors, and then uh, we're going to check the interiors. And that place is probably occupied. But I want to see what the lighting and light levels look like in there. You're a long way from the water, brother. Think about your life choices. He's not thinking about much of anything anymore. Well, you know what? Even in the middle of the day, the grass is less bright green than before, I think. Which is actually kind of relief. I mean, I like this grass mud. But it was a little bit bright. A little bit bright green. I'm still looking at some others, though. I may, I may change out grass mods again at some point. I don't know if I'm ever going to get everything fine-tuned exactly the way I want it. All right, there's a wolf up ahead. Fortunately, I've got one of my own. Now, I realize we're looking at a new ENB, a new weather mod here, but that doesn't mean I can't show off my new spell mod pack. Hey man, meet my wolf. Meet the alpha wolf. Wow, what are you taking so long, man? There you go. You go quicker next time, little buddy. Let's hear it. Come on, say it. Say it. Oh, he's not going to do it. And he just made me look so stupid right there. Too late. Yeah, so far everything looks really good. Let's try a uh, Frost Witch. I think there's somebody over there. All right, she should throw up a flesh spell. There goes the fr flesh spell. She's got a ward, frostbite, as you can see, and she has ice spike. And you're ugly. You're not elephant man ugly, but, you know, you're not attractive. Come on, ugly.
Yeah, I know. Stop groaning. It's not Monday anymore. You coming? Right, just get me a new one. Off you go. What are you waiting on? Let him have it. There you go. It took you so long. Alright, see you on the ground. Let's hope I remembered God mode. So everything out here looks pretty clean. It's not too bright, which is uh, which is nice. I think the light levels out here are pretty appropriate. Uh, let's try the let's try it. No, ah, no, no. Should we get the alpha wolf again? Now we'll go ahead and try the fire witch. Come on, light him up. There goes one. You, must die. you hear what she said. Alright, we gotta switch you out for the shock witch because we got a magic user down down at the end. What do you think? Uh... I didn't mean you. There goes the flesh bell. No, he's down there. Light him up. There you go. She likes to use sparks a lot, but... She'll use lightning bolt at times, but she seems to prefer sparks. I guess you get results, so I can't complain about it, huh? At least you're a little less ugly than the others. <laughs> I might tweak the sharpness a touch more. Personal preference, though. sound so painful I almost don't want to conjure them yep almost see now we had the uh, flickering lights thing going on in here before now, if you look closely you can still see it but it's to me it's flickering at a normal rate like you might expect from a, a flickering flame uh, for whatever reason with the other NAT it seemed like that flickering effect was either amplified or I, I think it was the, the the rate it was flickering was increased to where it was you know blinking quite badly this is this is hardly noticeable you see it a little bit but it looks very natural so that's a huge relief for me anyway um yeah this looks nice the light sources are, I think it's uh, not too warm, not too cold. Light levels are pretty good. I have RLO installed too, so I have to take that into consideration. don't stand a chance against my big doggy. I can't really call him my little buddy anymore like I did with the familiar though, can I? That's one. 
He's got a taste for human blood now. He just diseased her. <laughs> as many times as a wildlife has diseased me, I find that very humorous. Ain't that right, little buddy? Oh, that's right. Yeah, this looks really, really nice. The light levels in here are good. Not too light, not too dark. This looks really nice. Ow. Let's see. Did we try the Frost Witch yet? I think we did. We're going to have to move on to some bigger characters pretty soon. job. Got one more. She does, she can do a wield as you just saw, do a wield. Uh, dual casting. She's got dual casting. Uh, these apprentice levels summons have stone flesh. I, originally I had, I'd given them uh, oak flesh, but oak flesh is actually a novice level spell and these are apprentice levels so I gave them oak flesh they've got um, apprentice alteration perk as you can see that one had fast healing has a apprentice restoration apprentice destruction flames and either uh, fire bolt lightning bolt or ice spike This room is always really bright. You ever notice that? It's like that area in that other room where that where the table is, where those first two guys were at. It's like that one spot is always really bright. This looks really good, though. All right, let's move on. We'll check in some lower levels, and then we'll head over to Ember Shard Mine. We'll see how that looks, and then head over to Bleak Falls Barrow. And don't forget, the next video, it's going to be all exteriors. Yeah, you know, I, I, to be honest, I was just about to uh, switch out weather mods. I was working on it on this conjuration spell pack, and I thought, well, when I'm done with this, I might switch out weather mods. Let's try the fire mage. The fire mage is an adept level fire mage. <laughs> You can see he's got flame cloak, he's got stronger flesh spell. Watch you burn. Oh, good, he's already going after the other one. And you can see he's still got the ward. Ah, let him have it. Well, that wasn't too tough, was it? Yeah, this looks really, really nice. It's a it's a really good balance here. The you know, warm versus cold and the amount of light. I mean if it were just me, I might I might make it a touch darker in here, but when I get done messing around with mods and then get my Let's Play going again, I have to take that into consideration because when I upload these, it's going to be a little bit darker.
got one more up here. This is the adept. Oh, jeez. This this is the adept level. The shock mage. He's the adept level. All right. I think we're gonna. I think we're about done in here. So let's head over to Ember Shard Mine. We'll see how the interiors look there. All right. We're close to Ember Shard. Obviously, we're here at the Guardian Stones. It's uh. I think we just missed sunset though, but I thought we'd stop and at least take a look and see how it looks. It is almost 7 in the evening. A little bit of FPS hit right there. You see we still have some watercolor, which is great. And again, it's not the end of the world if I don't. You know, I can live without it, of course, but I'd like to have it, at least for a while. Then again, at some point, I may decide it th that doesn't look very natural, like the weather in E and B, so I might switch it out. But I thought before we jump into the mine, we'd take a look and see how, see how things look here at sunset. I actually, I think we just missed sunset. Oh well, let's go take a look at the mine, then we'll head up to Bleak Falls Barrow and we'll check that real quick. I hope those guys have respawned because I have a unique summons I want to try out. So the other interiors I felt were pretty pretty nicely illuminated as far as temperature goes this one light source here is always a little bit warmer than the others but I felt that you know it wasn't too warm wasn't too cold and so far I'm seeing pretty much the same thing in here that's nice this looks good oh one thing I didn't do before was turn the ENV on and off I don't know really if, if that matters that much just out of curiosity Meet my little doggy. Get him, doggy, get him. Ah, what's taking you so long? Just some stupid low-level bandit. There you go. All right, go ahead. You can do it. Oh, good doggy. All right, so light sources right here look a little more orange than the others. I think. Well, it's hard to say though because these aren't stone walls; they're dirt. But that looks pretty good right there. The light levels in here I think are really good. Now I won't know completely until this gets uploaded because it's going to be a little bit darker during that upload process. But they look really nice right now. I like it a little bit darker than normal personally. personally. But then, you know, I have to balance that with uh, how it's going to look when it gets on YouTube. But this looks really, really good. Light sources are warm without being too warm. Light levels are really nice. be 
Like you're not getting along with my doggy very well. Alright, go ahead. Alright, let's try... Uh, let's try the Frost Mage up here. Now this hallway right here is always really dark. This is not a factor of the ENB or the or the weather mod. This hallway is always really dark. This looks really good though. But we gotta get we gotta get a move on. We gotta get up to uh, Bleak Falls Barrow next. What was that? It was this. Light him up. Don't come up here, man. This is my spot. Ow! Get that guy, man. Up there. Can't wait to count out your coin. Ah! He's behind me. <laughs> up there in the balcony. There! Okay, you got a bead on it now? Man, what is wrong with you? Shoot that thing! took you so long to find that one. I mean, I get that's a little bit dark in here, but come on, man. Yeah, you weren't that much of a help. Boy, this does look really nice. You know, the, it's... Touch of natural Tamriel, natural atmospheric Tamriel, and uh, I think the names are very appropriate. I think it achieves the natural look extremely well. I'm liking the lighting in here a lot. I hope it's not going to be too dark when it gets on YouTube. Some of the ones that I've looked at before were actually, they were okay, so I'm, I'm feeling optimistic that the lighting will still be, uh, still be okay. this looks really good it's you know it, it's it's at night too I actually came through here before um, I think it was yesterday and it seemed like it was a little bit lighter in here but it was during the day and, and right now I don't know if it matters it's nine o'clock at night I wouldn't think it would matter being in a in a mine but it seems just a tad less bright than before well I don't know but let's get over to Bleak Falls Barrow and see how that looks. Hopefully there's some Draugr in there because I have a little something something for them. Okay, so we can see uh, at night the silhouette of the mountains. Let's take a minute here and get a look at things. Sometimes you get that blowing snow up here and it's really hard to determine how things are looking with the e &B or weather because that, that blowing snow effect that happens up here just like overrides everything. This looks good though. Alright, let's see what happens in here. Well, considering it is the middle of the night, there's no light coming in through those holes. I think the lighting in here is pretty, pretty good, pretty appropriate. What is this? 
Uh, I had nothing to do with that. Oh, there's people down there. Well, that's good. I'm kind of hoping there's some Draugr here. Let's see, what do we try? Uh, the Frost Mage. This is an Adept level. Obviously, uh... Frost Mage. <laughs> Behind you, dummy. There. You see him now? There's one. These mages are pretty tough. They should have zero trouble with these stupid bandits. I don't know what he's waiting on, though. There you go. You can see they have dual casting, destruction dual casting. They don't always use it, and I, I kind of like that. Sometimes they use a the single throw, sometimes they'll dual cast. But this is, this is good though, this looks really nice. I think the light levels in here are very similar to what we saw in Ember Shard. Not too warm, not too cold. Let's go down below, see how things look there. Does it have a little bit of the creep factor? I think so. Yeah, it can be tough sometimes with uh, so many different mods. What was that? Uh oh. Deal with that. Did he love that? I don't think so. Because you certainly gave him a challenge. Oh, the gate's down again. All right, if I remember right, one, two, three, four, five. Uh. E and B off. E and B on. Well, obviously it's warmer with the E and B, uh, which is a good thing. But it also seems to have more, I don't know, depth? It seems to have this image right here. I don't know, to me it seems a little kind of flat and two-dimensional, whereas this seems to have a little more, I don't know. It seems to have more, uh, be more 3D maybe. Oh, you guys. What? I forgot about you. That's it. Where did you go? Forgot about them. It's just a different light source here. This looks good though. Looks really good. The interiors so far seem to be pretty consistent. Alright, let's just uh, get you dealt with quickly. Get that thing off of me, man. This, uh, this is a fire warlock. He is the uh, expert level. He is uh, 
quite potent. What's well, good? We should have some Draugr down here. Because I have something specially made for them. It is the Draugr Slayer. And again, I realize this is a video about uh, a new ENBN weather mod, but eh, I gotta show off the stuff I'm working on a little bit too. Little shameless plugs here and there, you know. The Draugr Slayer does not use any destruction spells, but it is a mage. So you're probably like, what? I made s some custom versions of uh, Sunfire, Stendar's Aura, and Vampire's Bane. And I also gave him uh, Repel, Undead. So he uses all restoration spells. And uh, it's quite effective. Come on, please be some Draugr in here. Yeah, that's it. Come on, boys, wake up. Everybody up. Where's your friends? <laughs> See, hit him with that uh, repel spell. Go take him out, man. And then he's throwing vampires bane at him. So he, he hits him with that and it, it staggers him a little bit. And then he just starts pelting them with vampires bane as they run away. Where you going, man? What's wrong? You scared? He didn't know what to do now. <laughs> this is only the adept one. I've got a an expert level version too called a Vampire Slayer. They do essentially the exact same thing, just the expert is a little more powerful. ENB off. E and beyond. Don't step on that. Deal with that. stuck on here. There's two of them. I don't know what... I can't identify all those spells by looking at them. I mean, obviously, there's the, there's the repel. So I don't know if that one was Sunfire or... Vampire's Bane. But the the custom spells are they're adjusted appropriately for their level. See this guy this guy's the Draugr Slayer, and then I've got the Vampire Slayer. He's, obviously he's a Dramora, slightly stronger skills. Don't mind the axe on the back, he's not gonna use it. They're pretty destructive for guys that have no destruction spells. And they don't have any. I didn't, I didn't give them any destruction spells. So that was all done with restoration. You can see Pops is a Stendar Zora. Hits him with a fear spell. Then I'm not sure if that's Sunfire or a combination of Sunfire and Vampire's Bane. But uh, they're pretty effective. And you're kind of bright, man. Stand behind me, would you? Alright. I think that's going to do it for now. Uh, mostly interiors, I get that. 
Uh, next video, we're going to look at a lot of places around Skyrim. We're going to be looking at exteriors, and hopefully we'll get a good look at things during different times of the day. So, but that'll do it for now. Thanks for watching. Take it easy, and I'll see you next video.